centroid uh, at this point. That's a geometrical centroid. Centroid is geometrical, okay, remember that. And we need to find this location from this axis. Uh, neglect the size of the corner wells. Yeah, neglect those small wells here, those two. And now you have to calculate this. So I want you to do this exercise. It's very simple. This is your reference here. Okay, so that would be this area multiplied by its distance, center distance. This area, which is a rectangle, multiplied by its center, plus this area multiplied by its center. Okay, and then divide by the total area, you will get this out. Can you do this for me? Tell me what, what value you get. So remember, is this area top one multiplied by its center center centroid from the axis, then plus this area multiplied by its center uh, distance from this line, and then add this area multiplied by its center distance from this line divided by the total area that will give you your y z. You have to go and give me the answer. X coordinate would be, this, would be 75 and the Y coordinate would be 154.44. Okay, the Y coordinate would be 154, but who asked for the uh, X coordinate? It says here, determine the location of yes. Y, C. Yes, so what's your Y, C? We, didn't, we don't need to find the X coordinate because it yes, is 70. You're right. You're right. So what's your Y, C? 154.44. Who else is getting this answer? Anyone else?
Okay, so let's have a look at the answer. Are you getting the same answer? Yes, we are getting the same. Look, it's, it's very, very, little, very simple. That's the area multiplied by its centroid. That's the area multiplied by its centroid distance from your this line here. And same with the other one, divide by the total area. So 